Paris was like a lot of guns. But are federal agents catching bad guys or creating them? He was just waiting for me to set the date, the time, and then for sure he was trying to get it to happen. Listen to Alphabet Boys on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. What if I told you that much of the forensic science you see on shows like CSI isn't based on actual science? And the wrongly convicted pay a horrific price. Two death sentences and a life without parole. My youngest, I was incarcerated two days after her first birthday. Listen to CSI on Trial on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. Did you know Lance Bass is a Russian-trained astronaut? That he went through training in a secret facility outside Moscow, hoping to become the youngest person to go to space? Well, I ought to know, because I'm Lance Bass. And I'm hosting a new podcast that tells my crazy story and an even crazier story about a Russian astronaut who found himself stuck in space with no country to bring him down. With the Soviet Union collapsing around him, he orbited the Earth for 313 days that changed the world. Listen to The Last Soviet on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. Uh Uh-huh, I sure will. A good morning, everybody. Y'all listening to The Voice. Come on, dig me now. One and only Steve Harvey. (laughs) Got a radio show. Uh, Today, folks, I just want to dive right in because I think I got it. Here it is. Did you know that there is a life for you that's greater than you could have ever dreamed of? Did you know that there's a life for you better than the one you've ever felt before? And did you know that there was a life for you much bigger than the one you wanted? And lastly, did you know that what I just said is true? Did you know that? Did you know that the things I just said are available to you? It's not just intended for those who receive awards. It's for everybody. Yeah, you too. It's for you who didn't get your high school diploma. It's for you who are incarcerated. It's for you who have two strikes. It's for you who've been sentenced to life. It's for you who've gotten out and have a felony record and can't seem to get it together. It's for you who have an illness. It's for you who the doctors have given up on. It's for you. This life I'm talking about is for you. Did you know That there's a life for you better than the one you dreamed about. Better than the one you've imagined. A life better than the one you thought of. That there's a life for you better than the one you've ever felt before. There's a life for you better than the one you saw for yourself. There's a better life for you than the one you expected and even the one you wanted. Did you know that this is true for you? See, here's, here's, let me give you the secret to this thing now. You have to believe that it is for you. Now, you got to fight through the doubts. You got to fight through the will of Satan because the devil is busy, man. The devil wants you to think that it's hopeless. The devil wants you to think that this is it. The devil wants you to think there ain't no more to it. The devil wants you to think that this applies to other people but you. Yeah, you've been dealt the worst hand of them all, which you ain't, but that's what the devil wants you to think. So you got to fight through now. You got to fight through to get to what I just said is available for you. But what else you got to do? You ain't doing nothing else. Might as well fight. Why just wake up and just let it be? Why would you wake up every day and just exist? When there's a chance for you to actually live. See, the reason I don't mind smiling so much now is because I'm no longer existing. I'm living now. See, see, that's what you want to get to. You don't want to exist. 
to wake up paycheck to paycheck, day to day, not knowing, not understanding, not having, can't can't get this, can't get that, can't go here, can't go there, gotta wait, gotta wait, gotta wait, gotta wait, till it seems like you never get nowhere. You can get out of that rut of life, feeling like when you wake up in the morning that your life is ho-hum, that you're just in a rut. I drive the same way to work. I do the same thing on my job. When I get off, I drive all the way back home. I sit there. I read the newspaper. I water the lawn. I'm so sick of my life. It ain't. This ain't what I wanted, man. And start wake up, start over, do the same thing. Then the weekend gets in. You got to mow the lawn. And then you try to fix something in the garage. And you feel like your life is in a rut. I'm talking about if this feels like a rut to you. And if it's what you've always wanted, I'm cool with that. But I'm talking to people who want it more. Who would love their life to be more. Who would love their life to different. To be different. I'm not criticizing you if I just described your life. I'm just only talking to the ones who would dare to believe that there's more to it than this. I'm only talking to the ones who would dare, dare to accept the challenge, to fight through and see what God got for you instead of listening to Satan all the time. The devil is busy, man. Please understand he's so busy. So busy trying to trick you, get you into the groove. You know, they're doing all kind of stuff now, man. You know, atheists and already got prayer taken out of schools. Excuse me. Look at our schools. schools. Now there's a push by the atheists to get the words in God we trust taken off our money. Here's the deal. If you don't believe in God and you don't want to trust in God, just go on about your business. But what you can't do is spill off all into what I'm talking about. That's the problem I have with all, all of them. If you're going to do you, then do you. But don't spill off into what I got. Now, see, if you don't believe what I'm saying, then I ain't talking to you. Let's just be clear about the relationship with Steve Harvey and his crew. I'm only talking to the people that believe, that are looking for something else, that want something more, that want something better. That's got to be out there searching and hoping and, and trying to do more. That's all I'm talking to. Now, if you don't believe what I'm saying is true, then go ahead. Try it your way. Go see. Write me. Email me. Let me know how it's going for you. But I'm telling you of a way that's tried and true. If you go to God, if you go to your creator, your maker, if you go to him and you go to him for real and tell him, hey, you know what? I want you to go ahead and take over from here. I'm done. I done done all I know how to do. I done, I done tried everything I know how to try. I'm sick of me right now. Hey, look here. You created me. What you want me to do? And here's the cool thing about it when I made that decision, y'all. See, I was so afraid for years that I was going to miss out on something if I did that. I couldn't do this no more. But the stuff I needed to stop doing, I really need to stop. The, the things I was afraid of not being able to do anymore were the very same things I really didn't need to be doing no more in the first place. On, on the real, man. On the real. All that temporary fun I was having. All them temporary outlets I was using. All them temporary things trying to fulfill myself I was doing. I was just doing a bunch of temporary mess, man. I said, hold up, man. I want something permanent, man. I want a permanent feeling in my heart that it's going to be all right. So he replaced all that fun with joy. But it was only because I went and I faced him. He didn't take me and stop me from being me. He just made a better version of me. See, God don't take, he because all the stuff he sent you through, he needed you to go through all them. He needed you to have them experience of what it felt like to be locked up. He needed you to have that experience and know what it was to lose everything. He needed you to have that experience to make you tough. You're just going to be a tough one. I'm a tough soldier in his army. That's all. I just say one of the weak ones. I protect the weak ones. God didn't take a lot of stuff from me except the stuff I needed. But the stuff he made me to be, he allowed me to keep it, and he just made a better me. Do that, y'all, and you can have what you want. Alphabet Boys is a new podcast series that goes inside undercover investigations. In the first season, we're diving into an FBI investigation of the 2020 protests. It involves a cigar-smoking mystery man who drives a silver hearse. And inside this hearse was like a lot of guns. But are federal agents catching bad guys or creating them? He was just waiting for me to set the date, the time, and then for sure he was trying to get it to happen. Listen to Alphabet Boys on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts.
What if I told you that much of the forensic science you see on shows like CSI isn't based on actual science? And the wrongly convicted pay a horrific price. Two death sentences and a life without parole. My youngest, I was incarcerated two days after her first birthday. Listen to CSI on Trial on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. Did you know Lance Bass is a Russian trained astronaut? That he went through training in a secret facility outside Moscow, hoping to become the youngest person to go to space? Well, I ought to know, because I'm Lance Bass. And I'm hosting a new podcast that tells my crazy story and an even crazier story about a Russian astronaut who found himself stuck in space with no country to bring him down. With the Soviet Union... Paris was like a lot of guns. But are federal agents catching bad guys or creating them? He was just waiting for me to set the date, the time, and then for sure he was trying to get it to happen. Listen to Alphabet Boys on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. What if I told you that much of the forensic science you see on shows like CSI isn't based on actual science, and the wrongly convicted pay a horrific price? Two death sentences and a life without parole. My youngest, I was incarcerated two days after her first birthday. Listen to CSI on Trial on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. Did you know Lance Bass is a Russian-trained astronaut? That he went through training in a secret facility outside Moscow, hoping to become the youngest person to go to space? Well, I ought to know, because I'm Lance Bass. And I'm hosting a new podcast that tells my crazy story and an even crazier story about a Russian astronaut who found himself stuck in space with no country to bring him down. With the Soviet Union collapsing around him, he orbited the Earth for 313 days that changed the world. Listen to The Last Soviet on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. Uh Uh-huh. I sure will. Good morning, everybody. Y'all listening to The Voice. Come on, dig me now. One and only Steve Harvey. Got a radio show. Yeah, man. Boy, God has been good to me. Man, I can't really count it all. You can't either. You know, it's all in perspective. You really can't count all that God has done for you. If you look at every little thing, it's unbelievable the things he's done for us. How many times, you know, we, we got through something without even talking to him about it. He just, he just blessed us with it. How, how many? You know, it's just, it's, it's so much that the fact that you wake up in the morning, the fact that you still have a place to stay, the fact that you know, may be struggling out here, but guess what? You, you still going to work. You, you know, you living check to check, but, you, but you're making it all. You got all the plates spinning, you know. It's hard. You got a lot of plates spinning, but you keep them up there somewhere. Every now and then, one break, but he put two more back up there that look a little bit better, and you got to get to spending them. So it all works. Um, and then you got a lot of people who uh, just can't seem to mentally put it together as to, uh, you know, why their life isn't in a position that they want it to be. We talk about this oftentimes, but I want to try another angle with you today. You know, maybe it's you. Have you ever thought about that? Maybe it's you. Maybe it's no external force that's at fault like you keep making the excuse to be. You know, so many people I hear, well, if this hadn't have done this, if he hadn't have done that, if she hadn't have done that, I would have been further along. I wasted all my time, my years with this man, and he did this, and I could have been here, and I could have been there. And this woman, she did this to me. And if she hadn't have done that, I could have been here and I could have been there. Maybe it's you. Maybe it's not really that external force that you keep making it out to be. See, I've done this to myself before. Once again, I'm talking to you about something I know about. I've done this to myself before. I've had the reason I wasn't where I wanted to be. I had it figured out as some external force. I had worked it out in my mind. Clearly, it wasn't me. Because if so-and-so, or if this hadn't happened, and if they hadn't done this, 
I would have been further along up the road. That's what I was saying. But hold on, hold on, man. Boy, I learned a valuable lesson, man. See, if you don't ever let it go, it's going to be hard for you to go. If you don't ever let it go, it's going to be hard for you to go. I was listening to Bishop T.D. Jakes one day, and I heard him say, you can't drive your car if you're going to keep looking in the rearview mirror. You go outside and try that. Try to drive your car, but keep your eye in the rearview mirror. All you looking at is where you've been. All you looking at in that rearview mirror is where you passed or should have passed. Something you should have moved on from. All you doing is looking in that rearview mirror at what happened back there. If you don't stop looking in the rearview mirror, you're going to crash your car over and over and over again. Or you got to slow it down so bad in order for you to keep looking in that rearview mirror. If you don't learn to let it go, it's going to be hard for you to go forward because you keep reviewing the past. The past is the past. And I know it's hard, man. I watched a show and this lady said, well, I just can't ever forgive them for that. Well, guess what? Guess what? God may have already forgiven that person. That person may be extremely remorseful, could have gone to God and gotten forgiveness for it years ago. But you, you sit here and you keep hanging on to the back. I can't ever forgive that. Mm -mm. Then I heard Bishop Jakes come on the show one time and say something that really, really struck home. You keep drinking the poison, waiting on your enemy to die. <laughs> He said that, I just shook my head and went, wow. You drinking the poison, waiting on your enemy to die. Revenge is poison to you. You know, if, if, if hatred is poison to you, unforgivingness, when you won't forgive a person, that person could be going on with their life, made the right with God, don't know how you feeling, they skipping through life. Now, you make adjustments every time you see them. And it takes energy, man. It takes so much energy to hate. It takes so much energy not to forgive. To a, God ain't come in the room. You got to avoid them. Stay over here. Um, uh oh, here they come now. You got to make a situation over here. They come into the house. It's family reunion. Uh oh, here they come. Where they going to be in the basement? I'm going up here on the third floor. I want to go out here and get some barbecue. She out there at the barbecue stand. Oh, Lord, I don't want no barbecue. I just eat this potato salad. People, man, take themselves all out of position trying to make adjustments when if you, it would simplify your life if you would let, just let it go. Maybe you ain't where you need to be because of them external force, forces altogether. Maybe you're not where you need to be because of you. Because you won't let it go. You won't move forward. Look at this, ladies. Let's say you've been in a situation with a man. For years, it didn't work out for whatever the reason. It just didn't work out. I got I got what you say he did. I got what he did. I got he, I, I, all of that, yada, yada, yada. When you get through, did not God get you through it? Did not he allow you to survive it? I got you got some cuts on you. I got you been a little bit bruised. But did he not get you through it? So now that he's freed you from it. Now he done went on. He got a whole nother family over there somewhere. He Now, now he trying to make it right. Because maybe he learned the mistake he made. And now he trying to be a better man. He just trying to get it right now. But you sitting there holding on to it. You drinking the poison, waiting on your enemy to die. So now instead of you enjoying the blessing of finally being free from a situation that was not healthy for you, you create an even more unhealthy situation in your mind by hating, by having revengeful thoughts, by hoping he fall on his face. Maybe you even doing something to the other situation to make sure they struggle. 
Oh, man, you drinking the poison, waiting on your enemy to die. Maybe you ain't where you ought to be in life, not because of your external forces, but maybe it's you. If you don't let it go, it's going to be hard for you to go. You can't keep driving your car looking in the rearview mirror. Come on, man. Forgiveness is not for the other person. Forgiveness is for you. Alphabet Boys is a new podcast series that goes inside undercover investigations. In the first season, we're diving into an FBI investigation of the 2020 protests. It involves a cigar-smoking mystery man who drives a silver hearse. And inside this hearse was like a lot of guns. But are federal agents catching bad guys or creating them? He was just waiting for me to set the date, the time, and then for sure he was trying to get it to happen. Listen to Alphabet Boys on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. What if I told you that much of the forensic science you see on shows like CSI isn't based on actual science? And the wrongly convicted pay a horrific price. Two death sentences and a life without parole. My youngest, I was incarcerated two days after her first birthday. Listen to CSI on Trial on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. Did you know Lance Bass is a Russian-trained astronaut? That he went through training in a secret facility outside Moscow, hoping to become the youngest person to go to space? Well, I ought to know, because I'm Lance Bass. And I'm hosting a new podcast that tells my crazy story and an even crazier story about a Russian astronaut who found himself stuck in space with no country to bring him. Parts with like a lot of guns. But are federal agents catching bad guys or creating them? He was just waiting for me to set the date, the time, and then for sure he was trying to get it to happen. Listen to Alphabet Boys on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. What if I told you that much of the forensic science you see on shows like CSI isn't based on actual science? And the wrongly convicted pay a horrific price. Two death sentences and a life without parole. My youngest, I was incarcerated two days after her first birthday. Listen to CSI on Trial on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. Did you know Lance Bass is a Russian-trained astronaut? That he went through training in a secret facility outside Moscow, hoping to become the youngest person to go to space? Well, I ought to know, because I'm Lance Bass. And I'm hosting a new podcast that tells my crazy story and an even crazier story about a Russian astronaut who found himself stuck in space with no country to bring him down. With the Soviet Union collapsing around him, he orbited the Earth for 313 days that changed the world. Listen to The Last Soviet on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. Uh-huh. I sure will. Uh, good morning, everybody. You are listening to The Voice. Come on, dig me now. One and only. Steve Harvey. Got a radio show. Hey, oh, man. Back in business, too, man. Whew. Man, how good is God? I mean, really, if you think about it, in spite of all that's going down in your life, first of all, it could be worse. But secondly, sometimes you have to remember, and I've just had to have this conversation with myself this morning. That's how I'm fresh on this one right here. When a challenge faces you, or you're going through a difficult moment, or you didn't hit a bump in the road, in the middle of that, if you can manage to be grateful, it will take you a long way. Gratitude is a powerful resource. If you can be grateful in the middle of it, gratitude is a powerful resource. When it's dim for you, and then got a little bumpy on the road, and you ran into some obstacles and you done ran up into some detour signs and your journey ain't smooth as it was last week or, or last year. You got to be grateful for the things that are going right and that have gone right and for the thing that's wrong right now to get right. Man, can I share that with you? Man, is that a tough one to learn? It is for me. It has been one of my toughest challenges is to learn how to be grateful because it's a powerful resource. 
but how to be grateful in moments of despair when it ain't going right. See, here's a mistake I would make. See, when something go wrong, I want to focus on the wrong so much in an attempt to fix it. But even then, the focus ain't always in the fix it. The focus becomes, man, this is bad. Man, I can't believe this is happening. Why does keep going down? Th- that doesn't fix anything. You know, uh, milling over it, going over what's wrong, explaining it, sharing it with your friends. You know, making it sound worse than it is. Tell the story for pity from other people. All of that right there has nothing to do with the fix. Sometimes you're just mulling over it. You're just making it worse. You're just making it a bigger problem. You're manifesting it into your atmosphere. You're putting it out there in your spirit. Now all of a sudden it consumes your day. Next thing you know, you're having a bad day. If you're having a bad day, it's because you've been having some bad thoughts. So what I've had to learn how to do and what I'm working on this morning is I'm working on the situation that then cropped up. I was going kind of smooth here for a minute and now I then got real bumpy in the road, you know, and all this here. So what I'm thinking about now, though, is even though I've hit a bump in the road and even though I done ran into a detour and even though I, I've hit this lull, I've, I'm going down into a valley, I ain't up on the peak. Can I not still be grateful for all the things that God has given me, for all the things he's done for me, for all the things he's brought me through, and realizing that even this that's happening to me again is going to pass too. He going to get me through that too. Come on, man. God is a good God, man. It's a lot to be grateful for. So while I'm tripping on this bump in the road I didn't hit, what I got to remember is all the things he's done for me. And like I say, my saying is joy and depression cannot reside in the same place. So instead of being down about this new bump in the road, if I'm constantly filling my mind with the thoughts of how good he's been to me, of what all he's done for me, of all the things he's brought me through, of all the blessings he's presented me with. When I go down that list, I really don't have a lot of time to mull over the situation. Now, do I have to fix this bump in the road? Of course I do. Are there some things I'm going to have to do to straighten it out? Of course it is. But Steve, just go on and get the business of doing it and straighten it out. What you mulling over and worrying about it for? You know, old people, I heard old people say something when I was growing up in the church. They say, if you're going to pray about it, don't worry about it. But if you're going to worry about it, don't pray about it. That's an amazing thing. And prayer just happens to be my weapon of choice. Now, it ain't always been that way. I want you to understand that. My first weapon of choice was you do it to me, I do it to you. You call me out, I call you out. You say something bad about me, I've tried to find you and say something bad about you. That was my weapon in the past. How did that work out for you, Steve? Not so good. Because you know what? I spent a lot of time fighting back, kicking back, swinging back, when I could have spent all that time climbing. See, all you're trying to do at the end of the day, folks, is have a better life than the one you got. All you're trying to do is improve your position in life. You know, it's not my business to make sure you don't get where you're going. I ain't got no time for that. It's not my job to assure that you ain't as high as me. I ain't got no time for that. Your real mission and purpose is to have the best life that you can have, to ascend to the highest plateau that you can get to, to make your family as comfortable as you can, to provide as much as you can for your family, but legally. See, those of us that are sitting up here trying to come up with sideways, you can ask a couple million men sitting in prison today how they wish they hadn't have done that. And they'll tell you, oh, man, I wish I never had did it. I knew not to go down there. Something told me not to go down there. Man, if I could change things, I would. But they sitting somewhere doing some time that had they made another decision, they wouldn't have to do. Now, that don't make them throw away people. Nah, man. Because everybody make mistakes and God is in the forgiving business. And some of us have done some things that really broke the law and a whole lot of other things and deserve to do some time. But through the grace of God, we didn't. But now we sit up here and we pass judgment on people who got to do some. Man, I don't care. I don't care what you've done. God can forgive anything. But our position, our motivation in life is to try 
to have the best life we can have and provide for those around us and make it comfortable. If that's your ambition, you don't have time to worry about or concern yourself with another person. And I wasted time doing that. And that's not the way to get it done. It's simply mind to your business. Taking care of you and getting yourself right and tight is 24-7. So that's a full-time job. So what I had to learn was, and what I've, the reason I've chosen prayer as, as my weapon of choice now, is that now prayer helps me that I don't have to fight back. Now, if I get cornered, I'm going to fight you. I, I, I ain't even going to lie to you. And I'm still working on some things that trigger me, you know, you, you know, you, you know, and, 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 and so I'm, 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 I'm slowly getting better at that, but I've learned that my weapon of choice is prayer now. So when it happens ugly for me, I pray about it. When it get tight and dismal for me, I pray about it. And the thing about prayer, man, is prayer changes things. Yes, it does now. Read about it and try it. That's the deal, okay? Come on. Prayer is a wonderful weapon. Alphabet Boys is a new podcast series that goes inside undercover investigations. In the first season, we're diving into an FBI investigation of the 2020 protests. It involves a cigar-smoking mystery man who drives a silver hearse. And inside this hearse was like a lot of guns. But are federal agents catching bad guys or creating them? He was just waiting for me to set the date, the time, and then for sure he was trying to get it to happen. Listen to Alphabet Boys on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. What if I told you that much of the forensic science you see on shows like CSI isn't based on actual science? And the wrongly convicted pay a horrific price. Two death sentences and a life without parole. My youngest, I was incarcerated two days after her first birthday. Listen to CSI on Trial on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. Did you know Lance Bass is a Russian-trained astronaut? That he went through training in a secret facility outside Moscow, hoping to become the youngest person to go to space? Well, I ought to know, because I'm Lance Bass. And I'm hosting a new podcast that tells my crazy story and an even crazier story about a Russian astronaut who found himself stuck in space with no country to bring him down. Hearse like a lot of guns. But are federal agents catching bad guys or creating them? He was just waiting for me to set the date, the time, and then for sure he was trying to get it to happen. Listen to Alphabet Boys on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. What if I told you that much of the forensic science you see on shows like CSI isn't based on actual science, and the wrongly convicted pay a horrific price? Two death sentences and a life without parole. My youngest, I was incarcerated two days after her first birthday. Listen to CSI on Trial on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. Did you know Lance Bass is a Russian-trained astronaut? That he went through training in a secret facility outside Moscow, hoping to become the youngest person to go to space? Well, I ought to know, because I'm Lance Bass. And I'm hosting a new podcast that tells my crazy story and an even crazier story about a Russian astronaut who found himself stuck in space with no country to bring him down. With the Soviet Union collapsing around him, he orbited the Earth for 313 days that changed the world. Listen to The Last Soviet on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. All right, Steve, here we are, our last break of the day. It's been a good day. Still happy to have yeah, you back right, yeah. and everything. Right. Yeah. 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 Hey, yeah. can I share something yeah. with you that I, oh, but it wasn't Jesus that had abandoned me at all. I had actually abandoned him. And the moment I turned around and asked for help, he gave it to me. He'll do the same thing for you. Form a relationship with God. Get close to him. Talk to him. Tell him what you need, what you want. Ask him to show you what his will is for you. It'll change your whole life, man. It's your best chance at success. That I know for sure. Okay? Y'all have a great day. We'll see you tomorrow. Talk to God. He'd love to hear from you. 
Y'all be all right now. Peace. For all Steve Harvey contests, no purchase necessary, void where prohibited. Participants must be legal U.S. residents at least 18 years old unless otherwise stated. For complete contest rules, visit SteveHarveyFM.com. You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Alphabet Boys is a new podcast series that goes inside undercover investigations. In the first season, we're diving into an FBI investigation of the 2020 protests. It involves a cigar-smoking mystery man who drives a silver hearse. And inside this hearse was like a lot of guns. But are federal agents catching bad guys or creating them? He was just waiting for me to set the date, the time, and then for sure he was trying to get it to happen. Listen to Alphabet Boys on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. What if I told you that much of the forensic science you see on shows like CSI isn't based on actual science? And the wrongly convicted pay a horrific price. Two death sentences and a life without parole. My youngest, I was incarcerated two days after her first birthday. Listen to CSI on Trial on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. Did you know Lance Bass is a Russian-trained astronaut? That he went through training in a secret facility outside Moscow, hoping to become the youngest person to go to space? Well, I ought to know, because I'm Lance Bass. And I'm hosting a new podcast that tells my crazy story and an even crazier story about a Russian astronaut who found himself stuck in space with no country to bring him. Personally, like a lot of guns. But are federal agents catching bad guys or creating them? He was just waiting for me to set the date, the time, and then for sure he was trying to get it to happen. Listen to Alphabet Boys on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. What if I told you that much of the forensic science you see on shows like CSI isn't based on actual science? And the wrongly convicted pay a horrific price. Two death sentences and a life without parole. My youngest, I was incarcerated two days after her first birthday. Listen to CSI on Trial on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. Did you know Lance Bass is a Russian-trained astronaut? That he went through training in a secret facility outside Moscow, hoping to become the youngest person to go to space? Well, I ought to know, because I'm Lance Bass. And I'm hosting a new podcast that tells my crazy story and an even crazier story about a Russian astronaut who found himself stuck in space with no country to bring him down. With the Soviet Union collapsing around him, he orbited the Earth for 313 days that changed the world. Listen to The Last Soviet on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. All right, here we are, our last break of the day. Please don't forget that today is election day for the primaries in Maryland. We need you to go vote, Steve Harvey yes. Nation. We yes. need you to show up and go vote. Uh, we Just a reminder from your friends right here on the Steve Harvey Morning Show, please register to vote at whenweallvote.org, whenweallvote.org. Primaries, all that is just very important in this particular year. And you know we have a big election coming up in November. Midterms. Yes, Down yes, yes. On. Yes, yes. Be ready. Mm-hmm. Yes, yeah. stay ready because yeah. okay. yeah, we, we, we always have to vote. Down. We got to yeah. get ready. Down here in Georgia, mm-hmm. man, this Herschel Walker against uh, Warnick. Senator we, Raphael Warnock. Yeah, man, uh-huh. we've really got to pay attention here. We can't let them slide nothing up on this, man. And the we gubernatorial race, Steve. That's right. And when Stacey, Stacey Abrams, Abrams run, we're not going to be playing with these Kemp. folks. Mm-hmm. Because all this voter suppression, voter oppression, all these moving polling places, they're doing everything. They're making new rules for having mm-hmm. to register, to vote. We're going to be on top of all of this, man. We are not going to let these people cheat us out of our destiny. We have discovered that our vote works as it, it did in the last presidential election, and it's going to matter. It mattered with uh, Warnock and Ossoff before. It will matter now more importantly than ever before. Stacey Abrams, Abrams is important to us. 
Yes, she is. Warnock yes, she is, is important to us. Herschel yes, Walker is. is. This is ridiculous. So when I have Warnock on the show, mm-hmm. by law, I have to allow Herschel Walker. Mm-hmm. The, I am opening the door to Herschel Walker to come on the show if he will answer the questions. Mm-hmm. What would you ask him? Just anything. Like? Just anything Good issue bad related. Anything. You know, <laughs> can you explain the bad air comment about China? <laughs> climate control. Can you explain your stance on climate control? Mm-hmm. Can you tell us why you would be a better senator than the one we have. Mm -hmm. What qualifies you to be a senator? And why are you so committed to the conservative party when the conservative party ain't committed to you and the lifestyle of your family members? I just Mm -hmm. want to know that. And how many Mm -hmm. kids do you have? Speaking of family members, yeah. (laughs) Uh. Any questions, see? guys, on the way out? <laughs> Anybody? Questions, comments? Um, Tommy, you got a question for Steve? Uh, well, uh, I'm going to have to borrow a million to the next week, but I think I'll be all right. Yeah, wait, you, I think, wait, you I think got it? Just, no, no, no. I just week? think you just need to hang in there the next week. <laughs> <laughs> you got it. <laughs> but Steve, you do have a rule about that when people ask to borrow money from you. What's your rule? Well, when it comes to Tommy, <laughs> yeah, I want to well, hear your that nephew or it, Yeah, let, let's hear that one. Well, I don't really loan money anymore. Okay. I just give I've it never to asked him. ever, and he's no. never asked for money because he already know. But you know, <laughs> I don't loan it. I just give it to you. But then I don't give it to a lot of people. Yeah. You know. Yeah. And uh, you know, I I got people send me all the time. Man, I got this great business idea. Mm-hmm. Like somebody told me, hey man, let me tell you something, Steve. If you give me twenty thousand dollars, this was just recently too. If you mm-hmm. give me twenty thousand dollars, man, I'm gonna give you two million. I said, bro, what? how? <laughs> how? Legally? Yeah. What's that? Yeah. I said, bro. He said, man, <laughs> I I got a deal, man. Just trust me on this. If you give me $20,000, i am give you $2 million. Mm-hmm. Well, you can't even... Dope don't even have any returns on it. No. <laughs> Look, I don't even know what you finna do, man. I don't really you think you can will say anything. Do that. And I'll give it to you in 30 days. Bro, mm-hmm. if there's days. a way to turn 20000 into $2 million in 30 days, that so would be my job. Mm-hmm. That would just be my full-time job. To giving people twenty twenty thousand dollars, <laughs> bro, I I've just fixed it. <laughs> Two million every yes. Yeah. So no. I got a question. So for tell me, I think that would be a no. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So my question is, we kind of talked about this in an earlier break, but you know, we talked about the Mega Millions jackpot mm-hmm. over up to uh, what half a billion tonight. Yes. Mm-hmm. yes. What is the very first thing you would do if you won? The lottery jackpot tonight. Call all my TV shows and radio people, and give <laughs> and send them the, a Zoom link. Cause in one hour we need to all be on this. <laughs> well, in you know what? <laughs> that that's cool. At least it's not what Tommy would do. And <laughs> what'd you say, Shirley? I said that's cool. What you would do? At least you'd let people know that's not what Tommy would do. No, no, yeah, at no, least no, you're no. giving us a heads up. Yeah, right, 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 right. right. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You got an hour to figure it out. Yeah, Tommy's sixty minutes. His, Tommy's yeah, because in one his, hour, yeah. you're done. Uh, go yeah, down. I'm making an announcement to everybody. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna send them a copy of the check, mm-hmm. and then <laughs> on, under under the check will have Don't four words it. under Don't the check. It. Okay. You cannot no, say that. No, 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 I can't. This is very, oh, very oh, God. four God. words under the check. What would you do? <laughs> <laughs> All right, you can't say that. <laughs> yes, you would. <laughs> Take it home, Steve. <laughs> hey, y'all, y'all have a great uh, day. Uh, those are closing remarks. We just wanted to be a little fun today, but we'll see y'all tomorrow. Listen, y'all, don't forget, don't forget to pray. 
Don't be ashamed to pray and don't ever be too proud to pray because prayer, prayer changes things. It really does. Y'all have a great day. For all Steve Harvey contests, no purchase necessary, void where prohibited. Participants must be legal U.S. residents at least 18 years old unless otherwise stated. For complete contest rules, visit steveharveyfm.com. You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Alphabet Boys is a new podcast series that goes inside undercover investigations. In the first season, we're diving into an FBI investigation of the 2020 protests. It involves a cigar-smoking mystery man who drives a silver hearse. And inside this hearse was like a lot of guns. But are federal agents catching bad guys or creating them? He was just waiting for me to set the date, the time, and then for sure he was trying to get it to happen. Listen to Alphabet Boys on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. What if I told you that much of the forensic science you see on shows like CSI isn't based on actual science? And the wrongly convicted pay a horrific price. Two death sentences and a life without parole. My youngest, I was incarcerated two days after her first birthday. Listen to CSI on Trial on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. Did you know Lance Bass is a Russian-trained astronaut? That he went through training in a secret facility outside Moscow, hoping to become the youngest person to go to space? Well, I ought to know, because I'm Lance Bass. And I'm hosting a new podcast that tells my crazy story and an even crazier story about a Russian astronaut who found himself stuck in space with no country to bring him down. 